Welcome back everyone to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to level up fast in GTA 5 Online. So you may or may not know, but this week it is actually two times one in RP on all of the last play missions. So we're going to be using that to an advantage. Now the next thing is something that you don't really need to do, but you're going to have a really hard time completing the mission if you don't do it. And that is to buy any type of vehicle that can defend yourself from a bunch of intruders. So for example, uh, I think the Jolly Tank is a really good one. Let's go and look here at Warstock Cash and Carry. You can also get the Oppressor MK2, but keep in mind that you will not get bodyguarded around that, so you will have to try to be careful. Another vehicle would be the Jolly Tank. That's the one I'm going to be using. Not APC not. is also a really another good one. I might actually use that one too. So any of them that can actually protect yourself and has a weapon, so it is going to be the best for this. So let's go ahead and just start off with it. But first, let's go ahead and give our shout outs to all of these people. So everyone you see below the screen here have been subscribed since the last video is published. So thank you for that. And if you would like to be in the next shout out, all you gotta do is subscribe. And I'd also appreciate a like and a comment to help with the video's ratings and have more people see this. So let's go ahead and just start off with it. The first thing you want to do is go ahead, press options, go over to online, go over to jobs, go over to play job, go down to Rockstar Created, head down to missions, and then you will scroll down until you find last play in the product. So this is two times money in RP. So just start it up and you can do this completely solo. Whenever it gets to the loading screen, set the difficulty to hard mode so you get the most amount of RP for it. Also, go ahead, you can buy some super heavy armor if you want to, but you don't really need to do that if you're going to be inside of a vehicle. From here, just launch the mission. When it loads in, it's going to want you to get inside of this armored vehicle at the Mule Custom, and you have to drive to a certain location. Now, do not call in your vehicle yet. You want to go ahead and try to get as close to the location as possible before you do it. And make sure to return your vehicle to service if you actually have it spawned in whenever you started it. Now that we've basically made it to the deal location, what you want to do is now call in the vehicle that you're going to use for this. So for me, I'm going to use the Ganjali tank just because it's armored and it has a really powerful weapon. To basically blow any vehicle up or kill any person. I believe it's going to be at my land act reservoir. It is awesome. Now that it's spawned in, we want to go basically side by side to where the mule has to be because we want to try to get in here quickly before anyone tries to shoot us. Okay. We'll get out and we gotta wait for the buyers. Go ahead and drive in here. Now keep in mind, on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, there's going to be a Mule Custom Health Bar. Make sure you do not mess with it. Try to prevent them. You can see here, for each kill, you get 50 RP, which is a ton. So just try to kill as many people as possible and try not to let them get too close to the Mule, because then you cannot shoot them. Okay, so now we can finally move it. So what we're going to do is try to just kill the remaining of them. And now we got to go to the new deal location. Thankfully, this thing is armored, so we cannot get shot in it. Or at least, or at least what I know, because they shot at me and I have not taken any hits. So now we have to go ahead and let's call in our tank back to storage. So that way, we can call it in whenever we get there. Now, another thing I want to go ahead and cover is, um, I know some people might be like, Oh, why did you not stay there if they just keep on respawning when they told you to go to the new deal location? So some people might ask me because I was actually curious myself when I did this was if you could actually just keep killing them and they keep respawning whenever you're sitting there having the meal custom wait to be delivered. You can't do that because after a certain amount of time they do stop spawning so you will have to go to the new deal location after a certain point because they won't stop they will just stop spawning and you cannot get any more RP off them. So now there's going to be people who basically got there before we did. It shouldn't be too bad because from here you can actually just get an RPG, kill everyone. 
There we go. I think we just wiped out everyone off that. Have you ever been broken GTA and just wish you could go from this to that without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from a $99 just to a million? That could probably get you a couple cars, maybe some buildings and businesses, but nothing to what you need. Luckily, we have OP Mods. OP Mods is a GTA 5 money account and services website that's basically really trustworthy. Not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a 5 star rating of Trustpilot, but they're also a lot cheaper than the other GTA 5 competitors. And you can even use code discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you and back to the video. And we are done. That was the entire mission. I know it seemed a lot. But it was actually pretty easy if you have the powerful weapon and tools needed for that. Because if not, you'll get killed easy. So for delivering the mule, we got 200 RP. And boom, there you go. We can pass the mission. We'll see how much RP we got. We got $28,000. That's not bad. But there's definitely some better money methods out there. We got 6,248 RP, which is actually a ton now, that course was adding all the RP we got for killing everyone. So, basically, for killing everyone, we got an extra 1,000 RP for that. So, that's actually a really good method that you can do. And, of course, you can actually go back into free mode and then just replay it again. That is it for this video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 content like this. So, with that being said, you have a great one. Stay safe out there. And goodbye.